No problem when it comes to Kenny Crompton. He no. can hear us. He can. We can see you. Everything's good. So happy to be able to see you on the crib. Yeah, thank you very much, Todd and Chrissy. Uh, live, a great shot from Live Fox there. Sky Fox giving us a live uh, shot of the crib. Five Mile Crib, this has been a dream of mine for over two decades to go live from the crib, and I'm here. And I know it's real because I have the man himself, Alex O'Hara. To help explain, plus tons of other people. There have been so many people who have been instrumental in making this happen, so I want to thank all of them as well. Okay, so Alex, so we are inside the crib, and you explained if we put our, my, if I put my arms out like this, uh, there's two rings, there's two circles, yes. right? The outside, the orange is what we see, right? Correct. And then how, uh, that's about 100? That's about 100 foot diameter. Correct. And then the inside is part. a 50 foot, both steel rings. Yeah. 90,000 rivets. Wow. Designed to put this thing uh, in place. It's a lot of rivets. It's an awful <laughs> lot of rivets. It sure was. And yeah. then this is, we're looking at the intake. This is the intake. And so water comes in from two sides? Yes. For, well, actually, for, it's about uh, two rings. Okay. Um, there's some intakes about 15 feet down. Okay. And another set that's 25 feet down. Okay. Um, there are six on each level, if you will. They're yep. rectangular, six by eight windows yep. gotcha. or ports, if you will. Water comes in from all directions. Comes here. Goes 50 feet down. Because it comes, I can see water right. here, but this water, that's where the lake level that's is. That's the lake level. Now it goes 50 feet down. 50 feet down. The lake itself is yep. about 50 foot deep of water. Okay. The tunnel is 50 feet below the bottom of the lake. Okay. So the water's going all the way down, 50 feet in, below the, down. straight down into a nine foot tunnel back to shore. And then and that is how long? That tunnel, come this way. How long is that tunnel? That taking? tunnel is five miles long so from here to East 49th Street and on the shoreway. Thus the five mile crib. Thus the five mile crib, exactly. Okay. And then this, back in the day, in the six, people, people lived here up until the 60s. So was this the living quarters that were standing This was in? the living quarters here. They had bedrooms, they had kitchen, they had recreation type areas here. Yeah. So it was, they lived out here for two weeks at a stretch. Wow. Um, and their job was to sound the horns and run the lights to make sure that boats didn't run into the crib. Because we're, we're in a big boat shipping lane area Absolutely. right Absolutely, major shipping lanes through here. 1904, the entire world and the country had never seen anything like this before, had they? No, they had not. This was the first steel crib in the United States. Amazing. Uh, how, many, how long did it take to finish? Um, it was several years. The tunnel and the intake itself started in 1896 through 1904. Eight years of construction. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, and interesting fact, you said there was a, an intake that was close to the land, but there was concern about the water quality, which is why they built this one three miles out from the shore, basically. Yes, that's right. correct. That's correct. How there did was, that change the game? Uh, significantly, significantly. The uh, Water from the old plant, the Division Avenue plant, what we call now the Garrett Morgan plant, yeah. was the original intake. It was much closer into shore, closer to the influence of the Cuyahoga River. Human influences, human pollution got into the water. People were getting sick. Hmm. So they knew we had to do something different. So they built this intake here much further out, much closer to the center of the lake, where the water is much more pristine. And the death rate from typhoid dropped dramatically wow. the day this came online. So, I mean, it proved its worth instantly. Absolutely. Much. Absolutely it did. And then we look out here, and so now we see a beautiful view of Cleveland like we've never seen before. And it's a reminder of literally how precious our water source is, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. This was Cleveland's really second major infrastructure project after the canal was built. This was the big thing that Cleveland said we needed to do yeah. to make us a great city. We need a first-class water system. Yeah, we see you were mentioning there's different there's different intakes um, in Chicago, Toledo, and Buffalo. Buffalo yep. But this was the first in the United States. We have the distinction of being number there one. There we go. All right. Wow, look at that, folks. Stay there, Lamont. That's just a great shot. Oh, look, there's the there's the breakfast boat bringing the steaks and eggs in. I appreciate this. That's what happens when you have the commissioner. You get the, you get your food you shipped go. in. You get all that. Okay, that's awesome. All right. Well, we're I am so excited, you guys, because I've been wanting to do this live shot for 20 plus years, and we are live. And uh, uh, commissioner, are we the first crew that has gone live on the on the crib? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're first, Kenny. I wanted to put that distinction. <laughs> in there because I got a contract negotiation coming up. We're going to work that one. All right, we're going to go back to you guys in the studio. This is so awesome.